Jobs. Ace here, this is Noise Gate Media, and you're welcome. Guys, we're looking at how to multi track in Cubase. Wow. Now, this is a special gift to you if you are an addictive drum lover, if you use addictive drums, and of course, you use Cubase. This is a special one for you, right? How do you multi track? How do you have all these tracks in their individual channel, and then so you can mix them just like you have the acoustic drums? <laughs> All right, straight ahead, let's see how it goes now. Look at this. We have uh, our addictive drums already on this channel. You can see, let's play out. For example, you have this, okay? Now, that's your addictive drum, all right, already on that very channel. So what you want to achieve this time around is to have them on their audio tracks here, like you have the kick here, the snare, um, the, the, the tom, the hi hat. You want to have them in their separate channels so that you can mix them just the way you want them. You don't want them playing from the virtual uh, environment. For example, these addictive drums. We have a lot of virtual uh, drums, a lot of them. In Cubase, for example, you have the groove agent. Okay, But this time around, we're looking at the addictive drums. Uh, how to have this uh, number of channels, for example, the kick drums and the likes. First thing first, okay, you click on the very channel. This is the Addictive Drum channel. Here I have um, a, a mix down, a wave mix down of a piano playing right here. But on this channel, you have the virtual drums, which is the Addictive Drums. Now, from this very channel, when you click, you come down here, you find the VSTi, click around, not, of course you have the media, but this is a VSTi here, you click on it, and then just a drop down menu here, when you click, you have input options, and then you have activate outputs. Click on your activate output. Now when you click on it, you're gonna have a number of these channels here. You're having, for example, you have the kick drum, you have the snare, the hi-hat, the tom. These are all of the uh, instruments, okay, present on the virtual drum. Okay, on this very channel. Now, you can choose to activate a number of outputs. For example, we have, um, I'll deselect them so I can start all over again. Uh, you can, okay, we have, for example, let's start from the kick drum. You can say, okay, I want the kick drum, for instance. I want the snare. I want the hi-hat. I want the, okay, let's just, okay, make do of those three items, the kick drum, the snare, and the hi-hat. Now, once you're done activating those outputs, you can click out here, and then you go to that very channel. For example, let's bring up, um, let's bring up the addictive drums itself, the virtual drum. You can either come to this place. You have the E from that under that VSTi. You have the E. Okay, you can click on that E, which says Edit Drum Instrument. When you click on it, you're gonna have. Oh, great! So you have it this way. Now. In addictive drums, you can decide to just come here. You have this arrow pointing towards, okay, the bottom part of uh, your door. You can you can look at it here. So when you click on this, you have the master out, okay. You have master out. Let's return them to master out, master out, master out. But for example, we need just the kick, the snare and the hi-hats, okay? We created output for these three instruments. So when you click on that very arrow, the arrow down here, when you click on it, you say separate out, all right? That's what you want, separate out. You click on this, separate out, and you click on this, separate out. Now, you can close this. The next thing you're gonna do is to go to edit. All right, come up here and say edit. When you come up here and say edit, you click on uh, render in place, render in place, and click render settings. When you say render settings, you're gonna have this pop-up menu, which says dry transfer channel settings. When you say, when you choose this option, this is a very good option to choose, say dry, you're gonna transfer the dry signal, you don't want any effect whatsoever on that channel. You just want the signal. You want the drum, you want the hi-hat, and you want the snare. Now, when you click on this, 
you can just come down here and say, for example, what bits? Uh, we have 24 bits. All right. We're good to go. Do not check use custom name, okay? Because you want a situation where the kick drum, the snare, just as it has been named in the output section when we did earlier, if you remember where we had to set those three, they are going to come straight on your timeline just like that. So you don't have to say use custom name, all right? So you just leave that open, and then you say render. You click render. So when you render, you're going to have the kick, you have the snare, and then you have the hi-hat. Those are the channels that you uh, we outlined during the uh, output section. Now you ensure that this very one, these very channels, okay, this is exactly what you want. So you can play, for example, you can decide now to go away with the virtual the channel of the virtual drum. You can just mute, for example, and then this time around you can tweak, okay, each of those channels like exactly what you want. If it's a compressor. Uh, gate, whatever it is you want to do on these channels, you can now, just like you have the acoustic drum setting, you have been able to, you know, multi track from your virtual drum. Okay, now you have each of them. You can work on them. For example, let's try this. You can solo this. See, this is what we have here. And when you open up, this is what you have. You can move this. You can listen to them individually. All right. Work on them at different times. You can choose to say, no, I do not want this. I want this. Then, of course, you can mix. And then just the way you want in your project. All right, guys. I want to believe that this was very, very incisive. And, of course, you'll be the extraordinary.